is up guys this is Fury Tour 11 and today I've got a brand new video for you guys and this video I think is gonna be a very helpful one for you guys and it's how I edit my videos but the main purpose of the video is how to use Adobe Premiere Pro and first thing is first is that how much does Adobe Premiere Pro cost it is actually $30 a month or about $250 a year, I am not sure, but you can just go to the Adobe website and check there. So, to actually get started with Adobe Premiere Pro, it is looks complicated at first. You know, you might have like different tabs open, it doesn't matter, whatever you're on. But, to get started, you probably want to import your media. What that means is to like put in your videos that you want to edit. So, you can either do it by double clicking right here, or by just doing simply control I which is what I do then you want to import whatever you want images videos whatever you want I'm gonna import the John Cena even and sorry about the sound guys okay so as you can see it's right there already set to go but it's not on my timeline how do I put it there you just simply drag it into the timeline as simple as that you've got something hello are you sure about that and there you go it's just right there but like people might be asking like on the video isn't it just gonna be green around it that's gonna look very stupid well to remove that green actually I'm gonna put in one of my old older videos like I'm just probably gonna put in um I'm gonna put one of my son of the arrival videos okay so then I'm gonna just put that all right it's up and going it's all good all right as you can see but then so it won't overlap the John Cena meme. You actually have to put the John Cena MP4 over the other one. But then as you can see, it's just all green. We don't want that. So to take that off, you wanna do this. You wanna be selected on the John Cena meme or whatever you have. You know, this is like a green screen tutorial. So just skip ahead if you don't need to. You go to effects, then you type in color on the little search thing. And then there should, and then if you look around, there's something called color key. You want that. So then to just drag in an effect, you can either drag it in over here or drag it in just by simply doing it right here. And it should go in. Boom, like that. So then to take off the green screen, all you simply have to do is just use the picker tool and take off the color that you don't need. And it's kind of off, but not really. It's not that good. So then you turn up the color tolerance. All right, let me just skip ahead to where his face comes in. You wanna just turn it up on the color tolerance. And there you have it. It's fully working, and now let's see it. Here's Warrior 11, and today I am back with some more Slender. See, it just works just like that. Also, I'm just gonna put down the volume on the video just so y'all can get a better look at it. All right, let me just turn it down. And also to actually turn down the volume of the video, this is how you do it. You select on the video you wanna turn down the volume on. And then over here on the audio effects, well, you just click effects and it should come up, or editing, editing would be better because, you know, it's just a panel. And then what you wanna do is where it says level, that's what you wanna control. So then you take off the keyframe because you don't want a keyframe. And then you turn it all the way down to negative 287.5. And it just turns down the volume all the way, as y'all can see. Nothing to be heard except for John Cena. Are you sure about that? As y'all can see. So then we've got this something kind of standard, you know? A little green screen, you know, just Are for some sure? dank memes, you know, for the funny stuff. So then you might be asking, how do you add the actual meme faces in? Or anything like that, which is what I do a lot of my videos, such as my, uh, what's it called? My, uh, Bean Boozle Challenge video. So, to do that, you just import your stuff, and I have, like, a whole folder of plain old meme faces. So, I'm just gonna, uh, as y'all can see, I have so many memes. I'm gonna choose the Derpy Batman meme, because it's awesome. Look at that face. So beautiful. <laughs> okay, so to actually put it over everything... You just put it on top like that on by dragging it in and if y'all didn't know if you put something on top of the other it's gonna be above the other thing so you know just giving that up so this kind this Batman does not look like it's fitting the screen 
How do you resize it? Well, there's two ways to do it. You can either turn up the scale over here, like that. You do it by dragging the little like number. Heel, 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 heel. I'm staring into your soul, <laughs> and you know. But just for this purposes, you can actually do it this other way, and it's by double clicking on him. You can just drag him around. Da da da. So then I'm just gonna put him at the bottom right corner because that's where he belongs. And then, Badushk, there he is, on the bottom right corner, just sitting on his bottom. Just beautiful. Beautiful. All right, so let me just, uh, you know, fix my stuff here. All right, maybe I should put 670. Okay, maybe even lower. There we go, that's perfect. Okay, so I've got my little Batman dude right there. Now, see, my, some of you guys might be asking, how do you put, like, some kind of motion on him? You know, like, maybe move across the screen or something like that. Well, it's very simple. To do it, you must start a keyframe. So, to actually start a keyframe, you click on this little time thing right here. The little stopwatch. And it says toggle animation. You want that to be on. Okay? And it gives you this little kind of diamond thing. Okay? Now, that's where the keyframe starts. So then, say at one part, you want your Batman to be over here, but at a specific location. So then you go to the part of the video where you want it to go there. So then, say right there. Okay, I want it to be over there by the time this part comes up, okay? So just to do that, you have the keyframe on, you drag your little stick over there, then you just simply move your Batman. Oh god, I messed that up. Alright, you just simply... All right, hold on. Okay, you just simply move your Batman across the screen where you want him. And that made a little animation, just so y'all can watch, and y'all will see. Wee. Okay, so then, how to rotate him? Do the exact same thing, just with rotation. Just like, you know, do it. Just do it. Yeah. But it matters how much you turn it up, because you can't just, like, say, like, Okay, if I turn it up just like that much, it will just be spinning automatically. No, that's not how it works. Okay, to actually do it, you want to put how many times you want it to spin by just dragging the thing. So like, one, two, three. All right, I want him to spin three times. Okay, but I okay, I didn't drag the little stick first, so I kind of messed that part up. So I don't want him to spin three times. One, two. Three. There we go. Now, watch this. Looks pretty funny. <laughs> it really does. So then, just same thing with the scale. Just make them bigger by doing it. You know, just do it. Don't let your stuff be dreams. I don't know what I'm saying. Something's wrong with me. Please help. Please. God. <laughs> Alright. So I'm gonna just make the Batman bigger because I don't know what's wrong with my life. Okay, and then, now we've got this. Weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
So to do that, you just click and drag to the area where you want your transition. If you want it to go in between, that's okay. You just put it in the middle. If you want it to do on only one part, you do it on one side and one side. And then pretty much you can make stuff like fade away or stuff like that. You know, and I'm just gonna add in a few transitions just to make this little video look good, you know? And then for audio transitions to make it like fade away or, you know, fade in, you go to audio transitions, cross fade, and then you use constant gain. I haven't used the other ones, but I think constant gain would be good. You could probably experiment with the other ones, but that's that's your way of doing it. So I would, you know, drag them in, you know, just on each side. So they would be pretty good. Like so. Now let's see what we've got. Are you sure about that? See, it goes like that. Alright, so what if I want to make it on the side? You know, I'm just going to turn up the video, sort of. Alright, there we go. So now y'all can see the difference. Are you sure about that? And this is... Now, that was actually pretty good. Alright, it was kind of like a mosh pit of just a bunch of dank <laughs> memes. Alright, so, um, that's pretty much the basics of Adobe Premiere Pro. And, just saying right now, if, like, you would recommend this to anyone, please recommend it to whoever you have that is a friend, a YouTuber friend, or just somebody that loves making edits or anything like that. Because this is a great software. And a lot of people say, oh my gosh, get Filmora, it's so much better. But no, I definitely prefer this over Filmora. Filmora, to me, is kind of lousy, and it doesn't have, like, keyframes, which is, like, probably one of the most important things in video editing for YouTubers that are mostly gaming. But for, like, you know, beauty channels or whoever would watch that. I mean, they could use Filmora. I don't really have a problem with it. Filmora does have a better system of buying it because you can actually get a lifetime version. And, you know, but I definitely choose this over Filmora just because it's so much better and it could let you have so many cre so many more creativities with your videos, just like I did with this one. I just added a bunch of dank memes and this is what I got. Are you sure also, if you guys were wondering how I actually zoomed in and out from, like, the timelines as I am right now, um, to actually do it, as you... You guys will have this little like scrolling thing at the bottom. You can use it to drag across your timeline by just clicking and dragging, and you will like go across it. But then to actually make your timeline smaller, you just make it bigger, and boom, you can just see everything. But then if you want to make it a lot bigger on your timeline, then you make it smaller. So yeah guys, that's it for this tutorial. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and if y'all did, make sure you smash that like button. And if you guys want to see how to make Vine edits or anything in that category, please let me know in the comment section below. Because I love to make edits, but, you know, I just don't make them often because YouTube is my thing. YouTube is love, YouTube is life. And yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm going to go ahead and edit this with Premiere Pro, so yeah. Bye. Also, guys, I'm so sorry I forgot to tell you this, but I forgot how to tell y'all how to actually render the video. I'm so stupid. Okay, to actually render your video, you have to go to File, then you have to go to Export, then you go to Media, and right there, you can just save it to wherever you want, but that's not all there is. You have to go on Format, and you must pick H.264. That's what I use, and it's definitely the best one. So then, next thing you want to do is the output name. You can name your video whatever you want, just gibberish, gibberish, whatever you want. And then, depending on where you actually pick the folder, and then you click save, that's actually where it's going to save. And then, uh, you can change the width and height of your video, the bigger the better, but just keep it at the center one, because I think it looks definitely better. And then once you're done, just click export, and you're done with everything of your video. So yeah, just wanted to add this in, in the little outro, because I freaking forgot what is freaking wrong with me. Okay, so just see you guys later. Peace!